hey guys welcome back to the channel today please subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you get notified of my future videos in this video today we are going to be drafting a princess dad bustier so if you're interested in that keep on watching and let's get started so this right here are the materials that you will need to draft this um, bustier pattern So guys, the first thing I'm going to do is to just draw a straight line at the top, which is what I used as my shoulder line. And after that, as you can see, I marked my shoulder point, which is half of my shoulder measurement at 7. And then from that point, I went down by 1 inches to get my shoulder slope. So after getting my shoulder sloped, I went down to mark my bust point, which is what I'm ruling down right now. And after getting my bust point, I went down to 13 inches, which is my under bust point, and I mark it as well. And also from the shoulder line, I marked my waist line, which is 17 inches. So these are my basic um, vertical measurements. So this right here is the bust line, then this is the under bust line, and this one here is the waist line. Next thing I'm going to do is to mark down my armhole depth and for that I normally divide my bust measurement by 6 and I add 1.5 inches to that. So after getting that I just made my point and I'm just going to use my ruler to join the point to the shoulder slope. After this I'm just going to draw a line across and this line right now I'm going to call it the chest line. So after getting your chest line, the next thing you're going to do is to divide your nipple to nipple measurement by 2 and you're going to mark whatever you get on the bust line as well as on the waistline. So after doing that, as you see me doing, you're just going to connect the lines with a straight line. After doing this, on the part that is going towards the middle, you are going to mark half an inch on both the under bust and the waistline and you're going to connect the dots. After doing that, you're going to also do that on the parts that are going to the side, but for this, you're going to take one and a half inch on both sides, and again, you will connect the lines. So, guys, after taking this from this bust point here on this bust line, we are going to go down by about one inch. The next thing you're going to do is to use your curved rule to just make curves as you see me doing like this. So guys, after making the curves, the next thing we're going to work on now is on the armhole depth. And what I'm going to do is to mark, measure out the depth I have here and I'm just basically going to divide that into two and I'm going to mark it. When you've gotten your midpoint, you're going to go in from that midpoint by about half an inch and after that, on the chest line, I'm going to measure my bust measurement divided by 4. And when you mark your bust measurement divided by 4, when you've gotten the point, just mark it. And what you're going to do is to join this point, this point, and then the shoulder points together using a curve rule. So guys, this right here is our armhole. So after getting your armhole, the next thing we're going to do is to go up from the bust point here by half an inch. And what I'm going to do is to just extend my line a little bit. This is just to give room for um, the breast to sit perfectly. Next thing we're going to do is to measure around our armhole that we've gotten. And whatever you get, you're going to divide it by two. And what you're going to do again is to just divide your armhole just mark the point where the division is and after that we are just going to join that point to our bust point using a culture so guys this is what we have so after getting this now on this shoulder we're going to go out by half an inch on both sides after marking half an inch on both sides, 
remember we raised our bust line by one inch earlier so we're going to use this curved ruler now to make curves to meet that point from the armhole so guys after taking out our one inch dart on the shoulder next thing we're going to do is to actually replace it here so i'm going to mark one inch from that point outside and make a point just ensure that it's in a straight line so the point I actually made just now was not straight so i just had to align uh, my curve to just be in a straight line and it's one inch long so this is what it should look like so after taking out one inch on that point you come to the crotch line as well this point here you're going to extend it by one inch again and then we're going to just connect these two points together using our curve drill to get a new armhole So now we are not going to follow this old one, this old armhole that we had before. We're using this new one now. So the next thing now is to just um, start placing all our body measurements. So on this chest line, we already marked out our bust point. Now I just added two and a half inches to that to serve as stitching allowance. Now on the waistline, I divided my waist measurement by four and I marked it. Then I measured out this that intake which is two inches and i marked it as well and then i added my two inches stitching allowance and i'm just going to join the points at the chest line and the waistline together like this so as you've seen i've added my stitching allowance so this is basically all for um the drafting of the body part of this um pattern the next thing i'm just going to mark three inches in on the neck part and then i decided to go down by five inches it all depends on how whatever neck you want to have here and i'm just using my curve drew to just give this a round neck for the purpose of this um tutorial so this is basically all for the front pattern is this easy so now we're just going to cut along the lines So guys when you are cutting it out you have to be very careful so that you don't go and mistakenly cut out um, the part of the pattern that you actually need so guys this is what it looks like after i was done with everything um this is the front so now let's move over to the back so for the back i already drafted out the basic bodies so the only thing i want to do here is on the chest line i just marked out my bust measurement divided by four and i'm just joining the point to the straight line that we have here unlike when we're drafting the armhole for the back that we actually had to get the midpoint you don't really need that for um the back armhole so after that i just added two inches to that point there as my stitching allowance and on the waistline i am marking my waist point here and then i went ahead to add one inch extra for that intake and then i added two inches as stitching allowance and i'm just joining the points together after this guys the next thing we're going to do is to get our nipple to nipple measurements and what you're going to do is half add half inch to whatever half of your nipple to nipple measurement is so for example mine was my nipple to nipple measurement is seven inches and half of that is three and a half so three and a half plus half is actually four inches so i used four inches to mark my nipple to nipple measurement after that i just went up on the bust line by one inch and as you can see i'm just connecting the three dots together so after doing this the next thing i'm going to do is to just put that one inch dart intake that i did earlier so i'm marking half inch on this side and half inch on this side as well and then i'm going to connect my point to this midpoint here using my ruler
this is basically all for this back pattern but since we already um, measured out the neck for the front pattern so let's just do the same thing at the back so from the line i had i just went in by three inches and came out by one and a half inch so this is just a pattern for um a dress that if that's if you want it to be high neck so this is what it looks like and right here you know this is my zipper allowance so on this point here which is the end of the waistline i should have said this earlier i went out by half an inch just to reduce that bulginess that you normally have at the back of your zipper when you fix it so i remove half an, half an inch and i'm just going to connect it to the other line in a curve like this so that is going to go out and basically i'm just going to cut along the lines now so guys this is what the back pattern looks like and that's basically all for this video so this is the front pattern and here is the back so thank you so much for watching this video i hope that you try making a dress with this tutorial and i will definitely see you guys in my next one bye